how to create your first HTML page. In the previous topic, we looked at defining your site which you need to do first. Now we're going to look at creating our very first HTML page. It's going to be nice and basic, and we're going to preview it, and then we'll work on some more advanced parts. So for the first session, what we need to do is create our first room of the page. Let's do it. Let's all go up to File, and go to New. Okay. Within here, we need to be on this one that says Blank Page. And we're going to be creating an HTML page. An HTML page is your very common, normal, standard web page. And you should be able to leave all the defaults. Um, if you're using an earlier version of Dreamweaver, you won't have this doc type HTML5. It's probably going to be on this one, HTML4.1 transition. It's just an old style of HTML. The new version of Dreamweaver, CC and above, um, uses HTML5. But this, if you've only got this option, this will work just fine for most of what we're going to do in this course. But HTML5, if you've got it. Okay, let's hit create. What this does is it creates this, this untitled document. The first thing we need to do is save it. Okay, we go to file, we go to save. Okay, it's going to allow us to name it as this HTML file. Now, um, you, when it comes to naming your files, there's um, one specific file, which is your home page, has to have a really specific name. It has to have the word index.html. This is the very first page that um, somebody like Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer is going to go looking for in your website to load first. This is always going to be the first page an audience sees when they go to your website. Okay, So it has to be named like this. If you have a website and it has 100 other pages, the note index, okay, and something like Google Chrome or Firefox won't load any pages. So you need to have at least one page called index.html. Okay. So make sure you use a lowercase i. Let's hit save. So it's named it index, it's going to be a home page. And the first thing you should do whenever you create a page is give it a title. Now this title in here is very important for a couple of reasons. And the main reason is for Google search engines. For your site to list well, you need a very good, clear title. So if you leave it as the default untitled, okay, it'll end up with really bad results in terms of its ranking. So let's, let's explore that. So for the title for this page, we're going to be doing um, a title for, you make this unique to your website, we're going to be calling this one Dreamweaver Tutorial Website. And we're making sure there's good, clear keywords in there. Okay, so this website's going to be about Dream Tutorial. So, and once you've typed in here, and where I want you to go through, and let's put you down the bottom here, it's called your body area. This is where your website goes. We're going to type in a little bit of text. We're going to say, uh, creating a website. So to find out what this title does is I'm going to hit save, file, save, and then I'm going to go to file, preview, and browser. Now what this is going to do is it's going to try and preview it in one of the browsers that is installed on your machine. If you're using a PC, you're going to have probably something called iExplore, which is Internet Explorer. If you're on a Mac, it's probably going to have Safari. What I like to do as a web designer is install Firefox and Chrome, which is alternatives for these guys. And preview these as well. Okay. If you have installed them and they're not appearing in this list, you will have to go to edit browser list and go and find them. Okay. I'm going to preview in this course under Google Chrome. At the moment it's the world's most popular um, uh, browser by far. Okay. I've written uh, Firefox and Internet Explorer for Google Chrome. Okay. You'll see in this one, okay, it's done a couple of things. It previews a bit of text in here, and you can see up in here in this little tab, okay, it's given me that page title, okay, the Dreamweaver tutorial site. Now that's um, that's one of the reasons you put a title in. It appears up here, and when people bookmark your site by at this page, it, this bit of text that gets included in your bookmark. But what it's really good for is in its Google search results. So if I go to file Okay, and I go to google.com.au and I do a search for Dreamweaver tutorial. All right. Okay, the 
page title is this bit that appears in the blue part here. Okay. So if you left it as untitled, which is the default tree weaver, you can imagine the problems you're going to have. Okay, because um, Google will never rank a page that has the words untitled document in this title. You need to have really clear keywords. Can you see the words Dreamweaver tutorial, Dreamweaver tutorial are all appearing in this title here? It's what Google uses when it ranks, one of the many things it uses. Okay, but a page title is really important to describe to Google what your page is about. So making sure when you put in the title in Dreamweaver, okay, you put in a title there every time you create a new page. Now make sure there's it describes your page well, and it needs to be unique for every page. So if you have 10 pages or 10,000 pages, you're going to have to have a page title unique for every single page. It can get a little bit monotonous, but 